652 time for the morning sprint. We start with Kelly Slifka looking ahead to another alert day in the forecast. Kelly, what can you tell us? Yeah, one last uh, first warning alert day because of the high heat and humidity. We have not been below 80 yet in the uh, Madison area. There is a front just to our north. You can see some cooler air up there in Marshfield, Green Bay and Rhinelander. That won't get here until as we get into the evening. It looks like that front's going to stay just to our north. That's why we do have the first warning alert day today due to that high heat. Temperatures 95 to 100, heat index 105 to maybe 110, all of southern Wisconsin. We'll talk more about this heat and what we can expect some relief coming up. Thank you very much, Kelly. Rudy Giuliani has to pay a $150,000 bond and can't intimidate any co-defendants or witnesses in the case. Those are the stipulations he's facing after surrendering at an Atlanta jail over charges trying to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Trump is expected to surrender in Fulton County sometime today. The first Republican presidential debate of the 2024 election cycle is in the books. Eight candidates took to the stage to distinguish themselves from others, as well as the absent Donald Trump. Trump posted a 45-minute interview with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson instead. The next debate is in California on the 27th of next month. New information on a deadly crash near Reedsburg that killed a young girl waiting for a school bus. The 18-year-old behind the wheel, Kevin Green, is now charged with homicide after hitting and killing that 13-year-old. A criminal complaint says Green denied being on his cell phone at the time, but a review of his phone found he had both sent and received a text message within a minute of the crash. A motion filed with the Supreme Court seeks Justice Janet Protasiewicz's recusal from cases about redistricting maps. According to GOP lawmakers filing the motion, the U.S. Constitution and law requires recusal based on Democratic Party contributions to her campaign. Now it's up to the Supreme Court to weigh in on the motion. In the Midwest, temperatures range from tens of degrees to below zero to over 100 degrees. Well, climate scientists say those hot days, they're going to get more humid. The reason, with global temperatures rising, more water is being pulled from the oceans and into the air. Scientists say the only region with a similar climate to us is northern China. University of Wisconsin system leaders plan to ask Republican lawmakers this fall to release about half of the $32 million they were denied in the hopes of defunding campus diversity initiatives. The UW system's vice president of finance and administration says they'll ask the legislature's joint finance committee to release $15 million to go towards engineering, science, and nursing programs. Police in Pittsburgh say the shooter in an hours-long standoff leading to thousands of rounds of gunfire is dead this morning. It started when deputies tried to serve an eviction notice. The man started firing at officers who were trying to talk to him. The neighborhood had to be evacuated. After hours of exchanging gunfire, police confirmed the suspect was killed. Nobody else was seriously hurt. All right, good morning. Five minutes away from 7 o'clock. You get ready for more heat, more humidity. You're going to feel it once again right when you step out the door. We have not been below 80 uh, yet in Madison. Uh, now that the uh, sun is up, we'll continue to climb into the lower 90s by the early afternoon hours. Should be tapping out mid to upper 90s before we start to see some cooler air, relatively cooler air coming in this evening behind a cold front. But as you plan your day, plan on that heat. Temperatures in the upper 90s with that heat index. 100 to 105 this afternoon, hazy sunshine today, that first warm alert day. That's the last of the series of three. Our first warm forecast does bring in some relief tomorrow with a chance of some showers and storms. Does not look like a whole lot of rain, mid 80s, but we do cool down for the weekend. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, another chance for rain, it looks like early next week. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We'll have another news and weather update in 30 minutes.